I was scheduled to see us yesterday at 2.25. Now, being a weekend, I figured I'd get up at 10 and get out, go see the movie. Take my time, leisurely. But, I instead, the alarm went off, I went back to bed. Four hours later, I wake up, and it's 1.50. Now, keep in mind, the movie starts at 2.20. So I don't have time for anything because I'm about a half hour from my local theater and the metro, while there is one about 10 minutes walk from my apartment, the thing is, it's not the most reliable mode of transportation ever. If I had gotten up at the time I wanted to get up, I probably could at least consider the metro. I probably would have walked anyway but I can at least consider the Metro because whatever happens on that, if it's late, whatever issues it can find, I would have enough time to compensate. So I'm walking as quickly as I can. I just happen to look down, and this is what I saw. That is weird. What's even weirder is the movie revolves around coincidences and signs and things happening that allude to other things. It's a fascinating movie, and it's a great, I actually think it's better than Get Out. So, the idea that you have a strong first movie, and an even stronger second movie, is typically unheard of. So, this is a really good movie. The acting is so strong. In fact, the acting is what sells it, because it's well written, but... If they didn't have actors strong enough to carry out these dual roles, this movie would not work, or certainly would be less effective. There is no twist at the end of this movie. This is not an M. Night Shyamalan movie, because the ending, while not expected, makes perfect sense. In fact, once you see the end, a lot of what came before is even clearer. So, I haven't read anything that called the ending of this movie a twist ending, and I'm glad because it's not. Though I would advise, if you haven't seen Us yet, don't watch any reviews, including this one for that matter, if you can. Reason being, I watched a BBC review of this movie, and it gave away no spoilers, but it gave away the idea that there are hints and signs of things. and. It didn't spoil anything, but it had me looking out for them, as opposed to me organically finding them, because they're, they're spread out throughout the movie, but if you're not looking for them, you may not notice them, but at least on the first watch. But if you have watched reviews, as long as they don't have any major spoilers, it's not going to spoil this movie. This movie is excellent, it's well acted, it's even better directed, and it's just thrilling. I don't necessarily think of it as a pure horror movie, though. It's, as I said earlier, it's kind of a sci-fi horror thriller type thing. But it's really good. Check it out. It is awesome. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Review. Peace.